Kendra Wilkinson is opening up about her very intense battle with mental health. As you may remember, back in September, she had a very serious panic attack in which she was hospitalized, and now she's giving her very first interview with People Magazine since the episode. In the interview, Kendra Wilkinson explains that she was, quote, dying of depression. She says that she felt like she hit the end of her life, entered into a psychosis, and didn't feel strong enough to live anymore. Based on the interview, it sounds like a lot of this mental health struggle had to do with what she endured during her years at Playboy. And now her trying to kind of restart her life in real estate. And during her last visit to the emergency room, the doctors decided to put her on an antipsychotic medicine to help her deal with her mental health issues. She admits Playboy totally messed up her life and that with dealing with this, she wasn't able to see in front of her depression. She says, quote, I was giving up and I couldn't find the light. I had no hope. During all this, of course, she's still trying to be a great mother that doesn't have much support after her estranged relationship with her ex-husband, Hank, as well as her having to cut ties with many of her friends and other people in her life after she feels like she couldn't trust them because of her very public divorce. Then she dealt with yet another blow and her new show, Kendra Sells Hollywood, was not renewed after a second season. Basically, she explains that all this happening over the years just kind of built up. She had her major panic attack in September, where she just felt like she couldn't deal with it anymore. And that brings us to today. But here's wishing Kendra all the best and healing moving forward and that she finds really good people by her side to support her.